What's up, John Lang, guys? Welcome back to Assassin's Creed Odyssey. This is chapter 241, and when we last left off, we were in present day, <clears throat> just about to, I think, get into Atlantis. We opened the door, so we'll see what lies ahead now. This is kind of cool, though. We finally found each other. I guess rebels always find a way. It's nice to meet you in the flesh, Alethea. Or in the hologram? It was only a matter of time until our realities crossed in one way or another. It seems as though we're not alone. Victoria! What are you doing down here? Layla. It was way too dangerous to let you do this alone. I wanted to keep an eye on things personally. Who's this? This is Alethea, the voice from the staff I was talking about. Of the Isu, Victoria. <laughs> Can you believe it? I've had nothing but time to study the patterns of human speech, so I should sound less like a talking stick. Are you sure we can trust her? Don't worry, she's a friend. She wants to help us with the staff. It was always known to me that the heir of memories would embark alongside the Keeper, Alexios. You weren't in the plans, can I trust you? Of course you can. I'm her doctor, and I need to be here to keep an eye on Layla's vitals. She'll keep out of the way. No matter. This journey is yours and Alexios's. You'll need to build up the strength to withstand the staff's corruption. As Alexios finds power to fuel both him and the staff, you too will feel that physical connection. So you want Layla to go in there? I don't think so. Who knows what exposure to even more first civ tech will do? Not me, Victoria. I'll go into the Animus and experience it as Alexios. Right, Alethea? Your journey starts at the same place the Keepers did. The Animus will show you his way through the simulations. If you're sure, Layla, we'll have to be extra careful. I'll be here to monitor you with... her. Are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. Wish me bon chance. Good luck, mon ami. Alright. We'll see how, uh... This goes for Alexios, where we have to go, I guess, and such. The blood that is shared must also be offered, and the Great Seal will open for us. If you say so. Welcome, Keeper. You've entered the Great Throne Room of Atlantis. What lies in this room are remnants of Isutech I've adapted in order for you to begin your journey. I'm sure you have questions. The staff kind of looks funny on my back. There's more I have to do. Always, Keeper. When the staff belonged to Pythagoras, he used it selfishly for knowledge. He was weak where you aren't. You will endure lifetimes until the heir of memories takes this burden. The only way to carry the staff's weight is to find the strength to wield it. You'll find that strength in Elysium. The underworld awaits, Keeper. The... what? I'm alive. If I'm alive... How can I come back from the Underworld? These portals are simulations. They were made by me for you. In Elysium, you'll find power sources known as Keeper's Insights. This will affect both the Keeper and the Heir of Memories. Moving forward in the Underworld will be essential to finding all the sources of power. 
You're asking for blind trust, Alethea. You pledged yourself to me and our common cause, Keeper. Never forget that I'm on your side. I won't let the ones that came before control your fate. Find the strength within you and show the staff your worth. Approach the first portal when you're ready. Alright, Trials of the Keeper. Enter the simulation of Elysium. Well, I think I'm ready. Is this the, uh... I think this is the second full series of, or se second session of us wearing this outfit, so we will. Rocking the Sword of Kings, because it's pretty damn good. Uh, nothing else, so let's just go do it. I wonder if this is going to be like the Origins DLC. Going back now. I have to trust her. Where there's like different, different areas I go to. That's the vibe I'm getting is that it's going to be like, do this one and then I leave that and do the next one. Which means this is going to take me a while. <laughs> which isn't a bad thing. This doesn't seem good at all. Is that her in the flesh? You don't belong nope, here. Persephone. Oh, I'm gonna go through the different realm. Uh, okay. Yeah, I know how this is gonna go. And I figured I'm gonna have to fight these guys. Oh, shit. <laughs> I thought exactly, Alexios. Adrenaline effects. Enemy East 2 soldiers perform special attacks that can freeze adrenaline, the adrenaline that you've accumulated. Great. Welcome to Elysium. Kill the attackers. Gonna get him with that one. <clears throat> Ubisoft presents. Uh, the Fate of Atlantis, Episode 1 Fields of Elysium. stands up to Persephone's guards, let alone best them in battle. Tell me your name, or you're next. Ah, I'm Hermes. As you're holding my proudest creation, that means you're a descendant of Pythagoras. I know just why you're here. You need to harness its power. Now, your name. The staff calls me Keeper, but you can call me Alexios. What is this place? Keeper! A great name with a great journey ahead of you. This is the paradise of Elysium, presided over by the mighty Persephone herself. Elysium was a gift from her husband, Hades. This beautiful realm she crafted in her image is the only joy she gets from the underworld. She's his prisoner. But she's come into her role as queen with much aplomb. Elysium? The resting place of heroes. 
When I was a boy, I dream of seeing it with my own eyes. Then, why would Persephone attack me? Most rulers don't take the sudden invasion of a lone outsider lightly. Speaking of which, the appearance of a living human is quite unexpected. I'm supposed to go through trials and eventually leave this place. There was a great seal and uh, the staff talks. It's all very complicated. Allow me to explain. The staff is a gift, not a toy. It can be a key, a weapon, and a way to attain power until the very end of time. Here, you'll find a means to control it before it controls you. After that, there is a gate that leads out of Elysium. But the only way to it is through Persephone, and she'd never allow that. I need to get to that gate. Try talking to her. Who knows, maybe she'll convince you to stay. Or you could find Nekati, Persephone's top advisor and closest friend. Or you could prove yourself. Prove myself how? Persephone sent guards because she's concerned. There are reports of lawlessness in Death Kalyon's heritage south of here. <laughs> Why am I telling you all this? You said it yourself. It's very complicated. Elysia may look like paradise, but we all have our secrets. What can you tell me about my staff? I need to learn how to use it. Find my energy sources, the perceptions of Hermes, across Elysium to imbue both you and the staff with power. Only then are you ready to move onward. You can't wield the staff without them. Are you certain there's nothing else you'd like to know? I'm thinking I go straight to Persephone. Not so fast. Give her some time to cool down. When you introduce yourself, you'll find her in her majestic Acropolis, perched high above the Asphodel fields. I could talk to Ekati. You could, though she prefers to keep to herself. The dwellers of Ferea's retreat, which is to the east, might know of her whereabouts. I'd ask them. Maybe I should investigate Dafkalion's heritage. Persephone responds best to action. We need to smother them immediately if there's a whiff of trouble against her. Tell me about yourself. Me? Well, uh, I've never had anyone ask about me before. I work west of here. It's a modest workshop. But all great things appear modest at first, don't they? Kere. When you've sorted your affairs with Persephone, come see me in Minos's faith. I look forward to hearing about your progress. I will. I almost forgot. I've invented just a thing for you flightless humans in Elysium. The wings of Erbis. Go, enjoy them. Those are the boots, right? Switching realms. The realm portal allows you to fast travel from one realm to another. You can also access it by pressing X in the map menu. We got a lot of XP for that. Okay, so... Lover and a fighter. Use the wings of Hermes to teleport. Use the wings of Hermes teleporter. <clears throat> so what do we got here? It looks like four uh, districts. We got Ferris Retreat to the east. Uh, Asphodel Fields to the north, we have Minnow's Faith to the west, and we have Ducleon's Heritage to the south. Meet your makers. Uh, growing Perception, find and retrieve the Keeper's Insights. Okay. Hmm. Fair enough. I think the first thing we should probably do is discover that while we're in the heart of uh, Elysium.
And then we can try to go from there. I feel like I'm going to get a lot of XP during this DLC. Which, I mean, it's obviously good. <clears throat> Alright. Get up the statue and then I can sink. Man, this place is beautiful. Look at that. Maybe I go west first and then work counterclockwise. Or I could go east and work clockwise, ending with uh, what's ahead of me here. I don't know. i got so many options now. Why don't I try that? I'll try heading east and working uh, counterclockwise, or clockwise rather. And this is cool. <clears throat> Fair is retreat. New region discovered. Interesting. Let's check this first place. Uh, tributes to Persephone. Destroy marble maiden tributes to decrease Persephone's control of Elysium. Doing so will also allow you to absorb the power contained inside them. Okay. Marble maiden tribute. The watch will be vigilant here. Is this a guy here, or is this? It is a guy here. Can't fool me, game. Just call me a son of a goat. Interesting. Oh, I did not think that was going to happen. Okay. Blade Battle Axe. Interesting. Let's see if I can sneak up on this statue. Get destroyed, punk. Alright. Track me. One ability point. Damn. You're just handing out ability points, huh? That that could be deadly. <laughs> okay, I see you game. Let's continue working on damage on elites and bosses, and then I'll divert into something else after. I'm gonna stay out of the inventory. Try to anyways. Um Maybe I'll check out that. We can use that up, get to there, maybe. I don't know. Tip that first, and then I... Uh. 
Off we go. <laughs> Gotta go this way. The wings of their eyes. <laughs> Could this be it? New location discovered, Aconite flower bed. Two alpha animals, oh god. Thankfully I have health. One down. It's two down. Damn, I wrecked that thing. Any treasure chests? Usually there's a treasure chest in the, uh, the dens. I don't see one, though. I think that's another statue, mayhap. So cool. Thank God I have the uh, no fall damage. <sighs> this is another one of those statues. Marble Maiden Tribute. You facing this way? Yes, you are. I should try to stay out of sight. Jesus Christ. Dude just yelled at me. I should take a look. <clears throat> I mean, he said he was gonna take a look, but he's he decided now. Okay, there's at least two more guards and the two statues. I don't know if I can kill this guard by. I don't know if I can just walk right up to these guys or not. I'm gonna be like pretty OP if this keeps going like that. But that's perfectly fine. I mean, I'm level 78. I kind of deserve to at this point. Hmm. Okay, the way to get up there would be from there. 
So I guess I'm heading to that to travel up. We'll catch that, travel up, hit those, come back down. Maybe deal with the overseer. Wondering if I can go up on the the mount, but I guess not. Meter's dream. Is that the? What's that? Okay. All the way up there. I P the Janina's compound. If a genius compound, maybe. We're gonna ignore that for now though, I wanna go this way. I wanna see what's up there. <sighs> Devoted followers. is just a, a town. It's a location there and a location on the other side. Devoted sanctuary. Okay. That's not going to be a location either. So what's this other part? The devoted guardians. Two captains, two torches of I hypnos. My step around here. I was reading that game. Burn two provisions and loot two treasures. I don't know if maybe I should do this. I don't think there is a knight here. I have to sneeze. Okay, so there is one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. We found everything. I'm going to try to be on my sneaky mans here, but I don't know how well this is going to work. Especially with these two so close together. Torches of Hypno. Destroying Torches of Hypno decreases Persephone's control in each region and also stuns nearby uh, controlled humans. Hit the apple at the center of the module to destroy it. I don't even see the apple from here. These guys are way too tough, man. Can't assassinate like any of them. Okay, something down below. This guy's looking this way. I don't like that. Burning the provisions is kind of 
self-explanatory. Oh, man. 